Hi, this video is from NTV.com. NTV.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about SQL constraint unique example. What does that unique means? Let's see. SQL constraints are used to specify rules for the data in a table. If there is any violation between the constraint and the data action, the action is aborted by the constraint. Constraint means rule for the data. If you're saying never allow no null value for a particular column if they are if the user is trying to insert a null value the action is aborted constraints can be specified when the table is created or after the table creation in sql we have the following basic constraints not null unique primary key foreign key not null indicates a column cannot store null value unique means ensures that each row for a column has a unique value primary key a combination of not null and unique foreign key ensures uh, the referential integrity of the data in one table to match values in another table for example hotel and hotel address if you want to maintain a relationship between hotel and hotel address you can have the hotel address primary key in hotel table as a foreign key so that you can refer any point of time so let's see how exactly this unique constraint works i'm going to create a table Okay, I'm going to create a table called student and for the student ID what I'm trying to say here is the student ID should not be null and student ID should be student ID should be unique okay so student ID should not be null and student ID should be unique so let's create this table first with these constraints so I've created the table now so I'm going to insert this record okay looks like this uh, this query is inserted next in one more record I want to insert in this table but one thing I want to just mention here see if you see the student ID student ID is still one I'm, I'm giving a duplicate student ID and we have already created a unique constraint that means this this action should fail this insert query should fail because i've said student id should always be unique but i am here he giving here a duplicate value it should say there is a yes it has says the statum the statement was aborted because it has it would have cost a duplicate value so unique key we have mentioned unique key constraint we have mentioned so this is the purpose when i try to give a duplicate key for a particular record where the unique key constraint is enabled that means it will never allow a duplicate for a student id unique key constraint this is how it works so how do i solve the problem don't key duplicate key just give appropriate values so this record will be inserted and we can see in our database table let's select this query you should have two records now so this is the purpose of unique key constraint okay hope this video is useful thank you and all the best